comes to grilled vegetables, there's nothing quite like grilled Mexican street corn. We're gonna throw this on the grill today, get a nice char on it, top it with all your favorite flavors. It's super customizable. So you got someone who doesn't like spice, back it off. You like someone who really likes something hot, go ahead and throw that spice on there. You can add anything you want as a topping. We're gonna start ours off with a nice spear of butter. We're gonna smear it all over that corn, throw it directly on the grill. We wanna heat up the corn, and we wanna get a nice black char on the outside of it, then we'll bring it back and put all these awesome toppings on it. We're gonna do a kind of a fine chop in the cilantro so that when we roll it in all the other ingredients, the cilantro does a nice kind of coat all the way around it. So you don't want it to be too big because you'll get a big old leaf of cilantro in your mouth. If it's finer, you kind of get it you know, dispersed throughout. I would always encourage you to use fresh cilantro. Buying the dried cilantro on the bottle or even the stuff that technically is kind of fresh but it's been cut, it's always very dry and it doesn't have that nice refreshing pop that cilantro has. It's much easier to just chop it yourself. It'll store for a few days in the refrigerator. But the reason you put cilantro on something is it's got that nice bright fresh pop. You don't want to settle with anything else that doesn't have that pop. We're gonna go and check on the corn and see how that grill's turning out. Now, since we're on the hasty bake today, I'm gonna to go ahead and close this lid. It's gonna turn this whole thing into an oven on top. It's gonna to cook that corn even faster. I wanted to leave it open so I could get that hot fire to give me those black grill marks on it. When we close this whole thing up, it's gonna turn it into an oven. It's gonna elevate that cooking temp. It's gonna speed this cook up a lot. Look at that, absolutely beautiful as is. We gonna make it taste good. All right, so uh, you're not gonna have Mexican street corn and get away from the fact that it's covered in stuff like fat, which, that's flavor, so that's cool. So we got some good mayonnaise here. Now I will say we did our best. We bought some light mayo, so you know, give us some credit on that. But we do a quick smear of mayonnaise all over these things. Don't blame me, blame the people who invented it. I just eat the stuff because it's really good. This mayo does a great job of making all the extra stuff we want to put on this corn stick. I would recommend letting your corn sit probably three or four, maybe five minutes after you pull it off the grill before you start doing this because it's gonna be hot. And when you put mayonnaise on it, it wants to kind of get a little runny on you. If you got a jar of mayonnaise that you wanna sacrifice, you can always just take this whole thing and drop it right in the jar. <laughs> Can't guarantee it's gonna come out, but you got it in. All right, next thing. We got some Parmesan cheese now. If you can find Mexican cotija cheese, it's even better, but if not, Parmesan cheese is a, is a good substitute. Gonna sprinkle that all over the outside. Now, if you go to some Mexican street corn vendors actually in Mexico, they'll repeat this step back and forth. More mayo, more cheese, more mayo, more cheese. I value my arteries a little bit more than that but not enough to not make this recipe. That's your base. Now you can doctor it up however you like. So I like paprika, so we're hitting some of these with paprika. If you like it spicy, because I've heard that some like it hot, you can do some chipotle powder has an awesome smokiness, has a nice kick to it. There's our beautiful green cilantro that we did. We can top with that. And then last but not least, a little bit of lime. Woo, a little bit of lime. Or a lot of lime. I actually really like a lot of lime on mine. And then the creme de la creme, Mexican crema. This is like a sour cream, it's a little more mild. Sometimes it's a little thinner. It just adds such an awesome kind of a cold creaminess to it that really is hard to beat. 
So we're just gonna get a little bit of that over the top. And that, my friends, is Mexican street corn. All right, there's no way I'm making this and not digging in. Look at that. That's where beard is not real handy. Mm. Good night. Flavor bomb. Holy cow. That is my absolute favorite reason why we make street corn, because you can customize it however you want. I like mine a little spicier. I like some nice cilantro and some lime on it. You don't have to make it that way, that's fine. But it's this bomb of flavor on something that's real common like corn. A lot of people grill corn and they put some salt and pepper on it. Maybe get adventurous, throw some paprika, but very few people do the extra step to do this. If you don't like corn on the cob, super simple. Take this, shave it all off, take all the stuff you would normally put on the cob, throw it in there, mix it around. You got a, a grilled corn casserole. So many different options. Give this a shot. Awesome, refreshing summer recipe for you. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you end up doing these, tag us in your post. Let us know what they turned out like. I love seeing it. It's just so picture perfect. It's beautiful. Thanks for being here, guys. We really appreciate it. It's been a great time. <music>